Okay, so this is um, the easy ground plane. So I just made a previous video about uh, drawing in a ground plane um, that was somewhat complex. There was a lot of stages to it. And this is a more simplistic version. Um, and you could try this out as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna draw in a horizon line. This is the frame I'm going to draw within. This is gonna constitute the ground plane. This is the horizon line if you're standing on a beach. This is the sky, this is the ocean. I'm gonna put a vanishing point here, call that right vanishing point, left vanishing point on this side, LVP. I'm going to put a vanishing point here at the top of the paper. I'm gonna put a vanishing point here towards the center bottom of the paper. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the left vanishing point to the bottom of the paper, right vanishing point to the bottom of the paper. I'm going to connect um, this to the top of the paper. So all this is still the same as the first process. The next thing I'm going to do, just like the first time I showed you, is I'm going to divide this space up into about a third and maybe a little bit more than a third. I'm going to put a little more than a third of the way up. I'm going to just put a mark here. And if you just measure, that's about fine. Um, then I'm going to run a line through that point, through the left vanishing point, and run a line through the right vanishing point at that same dot, okay? Next thing I'm gonna do, right where these two lines meet, where the pencil is right here, I'm gonna put a dot. I'm gonna connect that dot to the uh, vanishing point, the third vanishing point. See this dot here, or where these two lines intersect, I'm gonna put a dot there as well, connect the two dots from the top vanishing point to the dot you just created. Now, what that does is it inters that line you just created intersects this line here and it intersects this line here. So put a dot on both of those lines. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the left vanishing point to the right side. And I'm gonna connect the right vanishing point through that dot, which is the left side. And you just repeat that same step. Put it, the that line that you drew before, the new lines that you just drew in, they're gonna in intersect right here and here. Take the right vanishing point, go to the left side. Take the left vanishing point, connect it to the right dot on the right side. And repeat the step. Now, a lot of you are wondering why didn't he show this in class? This seems so much easier. Did I just? Oh, I made a mistake. Um, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, I just discovered this new method and I really like it. So there you go. <laughs> It is a lot simpler. It does get confusing because I made this little boo-boo here. It does get confusing if you don't pay attention and and remind yourself that if you're connecting this left, left vanishing point to connect it to the right side of the center line point where that point is. And you take this guy and connect to the left side of where that point is. And only connect it where you make points. That's why it's important to make these points Otherwise, you'll forget where you were before, and then you'll have to go back and erase, and it just gets confusing. By the time you get there, it's going to be so small, you can't even see how far these go back. The other version that I was kind of showing you guys before, you can kind of see how it, it um, you are able to get more shapes out of it. You could get more shapes out of this as well, except this, you would have to condense this. Um, but they do serve different purposes. Um, might get more depth here, less depth here. However, they both do the same thing. One thing I'm gonna show you though, once you do this, you can actually pull forms out of the ground. Um, just like, uh, if you need more rectangles and things like that, and then you can just erase what was inside of it. And then immediately I have myself a rectangle pulling from the ground out. 
in three-point perspective, of course. Okay, done.